Greetings and welcome to Infodome. During her reign, Victoria gave her name to an era, the Victorian Age. She and her husband, Prince Consort Albert of Saxe Coburg Gotha, had nine children, though whose marriages were descended many of the royal families of Europe. Alexandrina Victoria was born on May the 24th, 1819 at Kensington Palace in London. Victoria first learned of her future role as a young princess during a history lesson when she was 10 years old. By her own admission, Victoria had a simple and pleasant childhood, although she was unaware of the political angst happening around her. Advisors of her aunts and uncles all wanted to gain favour with the future monarch and spent the best part of her childhood plotting to remove members of her family which pose a threat to their employment. In the early hours of June 20th, 1837, Victoria received a call from the Archbishop of Canterbury and the Lord Chamberlain, and learned of the death of her uncle, William IV. The accession of a young woman was romantically popular. The Queen, who had never before had a room to herself, exiled her mother to a distant set of apartments when they moved to Buckingham Palace. Only Lazen, her governess of whom Victoria was still in awe, remained close to the Queen. Even her beloved uncle Leopold was politely warned off discussions of British politics. Attracted by Albert's good looks and encouraged by her uncle Leopold, Victoria proposed to her cousin on October 15, 1839, just five days after he had arrived in Windsor on a visit to the British court. Victoria's wedding to Prince Albert on February the 10th, 1840, was the start of a wedding tradition most women adopt today. Women typically wore their favourite dresses on their wedding day, regardless of its colour, yet Victoria opted to wear a white satin and lace gown. She accessorised with an orange blossom wreath and diamond necklace and earrings with a sapphire brooch. This began a tradition of wearing white wedding dresses that continues today. Victoria's marriage to Albert solidified her partnership with Europe. Albert also became the dominant figure and influence in her life. She quickly grew to depend on him for everything. Soon, didn't put on a gown or a bonnet if he didn't approve it. No more did Victoria rule alone. Children quickly followed. Victoria and Albert had nine children. Many of their sons and daughters married into European monarchies to strengthen the allegiance of British influence. They had 42 grandchildren in royal families across Europe, such as Britain, Germany, Spain, Norway, Russia, Greece, Sweden and Romania. The warring leaders in World War I were Victoria's grandchildren. Great Britain's current monarch, Elizabeth II, and her husband, the Duke of Edinburgh, are great-great-grandchildren of Victoria. On the 1st of May, 1840, the Penny Black, the first adhesive postage stamp, was released in Britain. It was designed by William Mulready and shows Queen Victoria in profile. Unfortunately, Albert died in December 1861, when Victoria was just 42 years old. After his death, she wore only black to reflect her deep mourning and sadness. She withdrew from her public duties, this began to affect Victoria's reputation as people began to lose patience. She eventually returned to her royal duties in the 1870s, but continued to mourn for Albert until her death. Queen Victoria was entitled with the label of Empress of India in 1877, when India was formally unified with the British Empire. She accepted the title on the advice of her seventh Prime Minister, Benjamin Disraeli, to tie the monarchy and empire closer together. In 1897, Queen Victoria had written down instructions for her funeral in advance, which was to be military as befitting a soldier's daughter, and she would be dressed in white instead of black. Queen Victoria died on January the 22nd, 1901, at Osborne House on the Isle of Wight. She is buried at Frogmore Mausoleum in Windsor, beside Prince Albert. Thank you for watching this video, and we hope you learned more about the infamous Victoria. Please tune in to one of our other videos to learn more about the British monarchy. 
Until next time.